Good morning, you guys. Um, today I'm going to show you how to save um, your calendula seed so that you can um, share the seed with your friends. Or Good morning, everyone. I thought I would show you today how I collect and save my calendula seeds so that I can share them with other people or save them for next year and put them in pots or something. Um, I um, don't actually um, put these anywhere particular. I let nature kind of take over and let the calendula, calendula go where it wants to go. So I have patches and spots that, you know, they'll, they just make up their mind where they want to go. But um, this way I can um, share them if I want to. So. I will show you that. Okay, so this patch in particular has a lot of brown um, little pods. This is where the flower was and the bees come and pollinate and then it turns into viable seed that you can plant. And if you see, I'm just kind of taking everything apart with my fingers. I like to take that whole branch off because then it will re uh, it'll you know the flowers will come back again. You want to keep your calendula picked. I'm I've been really bad about keeping mine picked, but I let some seed go, so I would have some seed to either sell or give to people. So um, here is I'll show you one seed so you can kind of see. This is what the seed looks like right there. It's like a little curl and it's got little spikes on it. Um, and you'll get, I don't know, 15, 20 seeds per little flower head. And you want to pick them when they're dry like this. If you pick them when they're green like that one, they're not ready. And you will just be planting stuff that won't actually come up. So I'm going to pick a bunch of these, and then I'll show you just, uh, just how I dry them out a little bit more and just cure them for the winter. Okay, one other thing I wanted to show you. <coughs> um, the one on the left is ready. See, it's all brown. It's got a brown stem. The one on the right is still green. And green stem. Still has leaves on it. Now, you will, you'll know that they're ready if these come right off. Those come right off, and then you'll, you're left with the stem. These, do not. I'm trying to work them off and they just won't come off, so those are not ready. So I've just put these um, down on a piece of glass in the sun. They don't take too long to get this way, um, so you won't have to wait very long. You'll see um, your your plants. If you're keeping them, if you're taking all the flowers off all the time, leave a few of the flowers, and then you'll see they will go to seed. And all I do is I kind of go through and I take little pieces of the flowers. The flower petals turn brown and they they still sometimes they're still sticking to the the um, stem itself. So you can take that off and discard that. And then what you're left with is all these little curled seeds. And I just dry them. I just make sure that they're dried out. Maybe a day or two just so when you store them there isn't any leftover moisture. Just from the air sometimes they can pick up moisture and you want you don't want that moisture in your seed. So um, and then I will store them. I don't store them in plastic because I don't for one thing I don't like plastic anything. I think it's we use too much of it. And 
I like to store it in paper because the paper will absorb any moisture and it'll let it and it'll release it. Plastic won't do that. Sometimes you'll put something in plastic and you'll see a little bit of condensation on the inside or a little humidity and you don't want that for storage. So another thing you can do is another thing you can do is um just throw these out in a field somewhere in the winter because they will be cold hardy and they'll attach themselves to something and then they will come up for you in the spring. So I will try to put a link below. I will probably put these on eBay, some of my seed, so that you guys can buy the seed. These are probably the third year that I've had these and they reseed themselves and they're really, really hardy and really healthy plants. So um, maybe you guys can get some of these um, seeds and grow these in your garden because they're so helpful.